Tusimame hapa. Hapa. Hapa ni sawa. Talking to one another is the only solution that can make even the church, not only the government, to achieve the goals. And therefore, we support vividly the talks that have begun between the opposition and the, 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 the ruling party currently. Uh, as a church, we are praying that the dialogue will be found. And above all, it is not a dialogue to look for positions. It is not a dialogue to drum for other leaders to be included. It is a dialogue that will bring sanity and tag the common Mwanaingi who is suffering in the rural areas. So as a church, because they, we live in the community and we work in the community, we look forward that the life of the normal common Mwanaingi has really been changed so that they can afford even a living as other people. I don't think that actually the Nusumukate issue is the main uh, 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 issue. The issue is reducing the life. The life is very expensive. Look at the oil, petrol, look at the food, look at the school fees. The common Mwanaingi is really suffering. And we are looking forward that this dialogue will bring forth a resolution that is lasting, not just a, a one-term resolution. In fact, the church does not support the Nusu Mkate issue because we had the government of Mweshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta and the opposition was swallowed. And we all know what happened in this nation. There was nobody to talk about uh, for Mwanainchi. So as they get to the table, it should not be and it should never be about sharing of power. We want a strong opposition in this nation. Yeah. We still want a strong opposition in this nation and we want the opposition to play their role as opposition and the government to play their role as in serving Kenyans. I want the government to know that Mumia's Sugar Company, it is a company in Western Kenya where our children are working, where we are stakeholders because we believe our ancestors gave out the land for that uh, sugar company. So we don't want to hear the issue of privatization of uh, Mumias or selling out that company. In fact, we recommend the government to offload the shares to the county governments. Let the county governments run that Mumias sugar company if the national government feels that they cannot continue. But the issue of releasing the shares of government from uh, Mumias sugar company, we don't agree with it. We don't support, we stand in solidarity with our political leaders to say that Mumia's Sugar Company is the property of Western Kenya people and we don't want it to go anywhere. The same issue with Golf Hotel, uh, if it has to go uh, the, the same way of privatization, then let it remain in the hands of the people of Western Kenya. That is what we support. Uh, we want to commend the president, His Excellency uh, Dr. William Ruto, for seeing it good to call the opposition on the table to talk about the issues that they had raised. Uh, we, we really appreciate that that was a statesmanship because he looked at the suffering Kenyans, those people we, were, we had begun to lose lives, uh, we were losing business, and the image of the country also was not very good in the, in the international community and even to the other countries. So we commend them for that. We also commend the Right Honorable, Honorable Aila Odinga, even for swiftly coming in and accept uh, the way of dialogue. Uh, we want to commend the President, His Excellency uh, Dr. William Ruto, for seeing it good to call the opposition on the table to talk about the issues that they had raised. Uh, we, we really appreciate that. That was a statesmanship because he looked at the suffering Kenyans, those people we, were, we had begun to lose lives, uh, we were losing business, and the image of the country also was not very good in the international community and even to the other countries. 
So we commend them for that. We also commend the Right Honorable, Honorable Aila Odinga, even for swiftly coming in and accept uh, the way of dialogue. We don't want hardliners there because we don't want the country to get back to where we have come from. Mm. So please go to that table with an open heart, mm. with an open mind, mm. thinking about the country and not yourself, thinking about the country and not the parties, because uh, we don't want to see demos again in this country. And maybe this is just a good opportunity, a very good opportunity for the country, so that we can address most of the issues that are affecting this nation, and particularly and especially the issue of cost of life and the issue of IBC. It is almost becoming a curse to work in IBC in this nation. So let's fix this problem completely once and for all so that when we have elections, we have a peaceful transition.